So a rather large, heavy-set white man, probably in his mid to late 30s, potentially early 40s, because you know how weight can make a person look younger, walked up to me and offered me some leftover food from allegedly his meal. What I discovered about his offering is not what the company was, but what I discovered about his offering is that he immediately threw it in the trash after leaving me. So what that told me was the food wasn't good enough for him to even take home, which potentially meant that he took the food from the trash or he potentially um, <coughs> was not planning to eat it or it could have been in his car for days. What we know about most people who live in the streets who are in poverty and literally struggling is that they might receive food, but many of them don't eat it. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about monsters in the hood. This gentleman approached me, and what I did was what the Lord told me to do, or what my whisper mode was telling me to do, which is to call him back and talk to him and tell him about my challenge. What I have a challenge is, is that somebody's been ruining my shoes, and openly, that's okay. But I need to replace them today, and I explained to him how inexpensive the ones I were looking for are, and what he got was what I needed. So I told him that and said, perhaps amongst some of your family and friends, something could be collected, and that would help me. Now that puts him in a predicament because then he has to decide, does he have family and friends that he could ask? And two, is he trustworthy enough to ask him for the money? And actually, if he receives it, give it to me. But what he did do was sort of look around in my pack area where I was trying to give myself some privacy for cooking some food. And at the same time, then he came back later to the other side and came back through and offered me some money from his wife. And that was kind of nice. But I did qualify with him that the donation transaction was over with and explain to him how financial abuse works. That financial abuse can be one of those things where people think they can give money and then do things to someone. And we just can't have that funniness going on today. It's immoral and it's illegal to presume that if you give someone money that you can touch them in any way or get into their property or explore anything about them. And that is not okay. In America, we have privacy rights, we have safety rights, we have security rights, we have medical rights, we have all kinds of rights and most of you already know from listening to my channel to any length of time that I'm pretty passionate about these rights. Election rights are a big deal right now but other rights are being abated here and we need to be very careful of people who are trying to give food. In America we have the right to food safety and sanitation and there are monsters in the world who would give you food that's been in the trash for several days just to see if they can do it just because they think it's funny and just because they're in a good mood. I believe that he and his wife also reviewed the sign that he carried in my pack to try to not get played with, and that's why I made my qualification with a man like that, because I could watch him lying to me when I asked him if he had a dog, and he said yes, and then he told me a few months later that no, he didn't have one, that had died like three days ago, and I didn't buy it. In America, it's true that people do not make that misstep, so that if the dog just died, it's usually pretty set in a person's mind.